which might be kind of hard to see from that angle. Welcome back out to the channel, everybody. This is from the Ground Up RC. My name is Aaron. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> So today we're gonna go ahead we got some work we got to do here on the edge about a couple months ago after I pancaked it we uh, you know we we fixed the elevator back there and I bent the mufflers back straight and this one held this one did not and uh, you see it's make a big old mess in there so we're gonna pull it off we're gonna swap the mufflers out we got it pulled off um, yeah that busted all the way around it when I bent it back it was cracked a little on this side you can kind of see I tried to Clean it up with the Dremel and use the Luma weld, which didn't work very good at all. And uh, this side's busted on the back a little bit. So I just hopped online, got some new mufflers ordered from Mile High RC, had them in the mail the next day. So not sponsored by them. But uh, anyhow, so we'll pull these ones off and then I'll show you something I did to these ones that helped the performance of this motor a lot. All right, so not sure how well you can see the difference. In the openings on these uh, on these two mufflers, you can see the old one. It's got the gasket stuff all over it, but uh, it's uh, opened it up a lot compared to what this new one is. And that's because if you come over here and you look at the size of these openings, um, which might be kind of hard to see from that angle, the opening on the cylinder head is. Uh, is a lot bigger than what's on this muffler so when your exhaust comes out of there it's running into a big old wall right here and uh, after I opened these up this motor would spin a 24.9 faster than it would spin a 24.8 the other thing I did was when I put Bowman rings in here um, I took the base cylinder gasket out we're gonna go ahead we're gonna port the new mufflers back out to match this and uh, We'll get them bolted on. That's pretty much done. Um, we slipped a little right here, but uh, the way I used the, the gasket stuff, I think it'll work work out just right. So hopefully that's in focus. Um, took that one and uh, took that one. And to give you an idea of how much we opened that up, it's about an eighth of an inch on each end. Um, I just used this gasket laid it down laid it on lined it up with the holes um, and then trace that inside line with them with the sharpie because that gasket matches up almost perfectly with the cylinder so um, anyway but uh, the way I do this is I use a, a high temp red gasket maker um, I learned from another guy on YouTube and I'll put a little bit of a little bit around here um, after I clean that off 
with some uh, denatured alcohol or acetone. Um, either one I think works, but uh, we'll put a little a real thin layer on that. We'll set the mufflers on. We'll just snug up the bolts just enough where you uh, where you know they're at the bottom. Then I'll let it set for a while, and I'll come over here and I'll work on the pits while those are drying, and then before I head in, I'll uh, I'll tighten them up. So um, I double check, make sure. If you do something like this, you gotta make sure that base seals up good. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll get going. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If this uh, helped you out, um, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we'll show a quick clip of this thing running after we're done here, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you next week.